it seem like we feel the same We love what we hate We lie, but we know We can't wire to it How can we turn around our feelings When we're hurting? Hello friends, this is Yundel and today's share is about turning around our feelings when we're hurting. This is not an easy share. This is about our feelings, our emotion. This is about how can we handle our feelings when we're hurting. I know it's hard. I know it's not easy. But in this life journey, Nobody is exempted for a feeling of being hurt. Each and every one of us experience a hurting moment. We cannot be just in a normal phase of life all the time. It cannot be avoided that hurting moments come and go. We are human. We are going to experience heartaches, happiness, joy, disappointments, and frustrations. It cannot be avoided. But I am sharing this with you to remind you that all those things can be turned around. We can turn around when we know how to take consideration of ourselves, how to love ourselves to the fullest. It is again thinking about yourself, thinking about your feelings, how you are going to handle things when it is so very difficult. Of course, our mind and feelings when this moment comes, it's so in chaos and it's all normal and we have to face that because each and every one of us no matter what we have to face all different kinds of trials and challenges in this life journey and no one is ex exempted for this we don't like it but still it is happening to us for some reason we are going to live and face all this kind of hurting moments disappointments painful moments and hurt aches. It is a part of our life journey. And how can we turn around our feelings when we're hurting? For me, again, I am sharing with you my spiritual practice because this is how I survive life. This is the way I turn around my feelings when I am hurting. The time is a good healer. We need time. We need the peaceful place. We need the understanding of our loved ones. We must have that support from them. That they must understand us. They must give us the time. But they are only willing to give you the time and understanding if you are open to them what you are feeling. Your feelings must be understood by others or not you cannot get support from your loved ones family and friends when you are not open with your own feelings you have to always take that as a consideration to be open with your feelings to talk about it but again it's not easy to talk about it I can feel that, I experience it, that it's not easy to talk about it. But my point here, when we are hurting, don't talk so much. The more you talk, the more you don't have control with your feelings. Go to a peaceful place. Go meditate and pray about your situation. Believe me, you can handle it well when you prioritize your feelings self first before others when you can have that moment with yourself to contemplate what is really happening and you have to understand the whole situation but i am sharing with you some verses from the scripture which comforts me when i am hurting i have 
to verbalize these verses in order for me to feel good with myself, to comfort myself, that no matter what, all will be well with me. It's not easy, but, but the comfort of what was written in the scripture really helps me to turn around the feelings when I am hurting. This verse I am sharing with you really helps my feelings to turn around when I am hurting. Because it says this in Romans 8, 28, And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to His purpose for them. When someone bestrays us or lies about us and there is damages of our reputation. We can feel like they've ruined our life. It's okay to feel hurt. It's okay to feel wrong, to feel violated. But remember that God made us with feelings. But if you're going to see God pay you back for the wrongs you have the roll over, you're going to roll over those feelings. You have to get your passion back and start moving forward. If you use it as an excuse to, see, to stay hard, it will keep you from your purpose. On the other side of the excuse is a new label of your destiny. The bad break, the injustice, or the loss did not stop God's plan for your life. Remember that it wasn't your fault that you get hurt. But it is your responsibility to move forward in faith. Knowing that God is working all things together for your own good. It may not have been good, but God knows how to turn what was unfair and hurtful for your good. He's not going to live your life in a broken place, in a damaged place, in and a just place. Remember that He promised us to make all things work together for the good, even what doesn't seem so good at the time. You have to remember that He helped us always uses the hard thing moments and difficulties to prepare us for greater things. We must understand and know that he will never leave us in a broken damaged place you have to understand that he is there for us yes we must move forward we must try mindfulness meditation go out to the nature do the meditation, feel your feelings, respect your feelings, and create a healthy lifestyle and healthy habits. Reach out for your support when you want to turn around your feelings. Be wise to reach out a support network. Find a creative outlet to express your emotional pain. Explore grounding techniques and seek professional advice when it seems so hard. Be who you are and take actions according to your feelings. We must understand that no matter how bad we are hurting, we must move forward. Join, for example, a support group to see a counselor. Acknowledge your emotion about the harm done to you. Recognize how those emotions affect your behavior and work to release them. Choose to forgive the person who's offended you. Release the control and power that offending that, offending that person and situation have had in your life. Be wise to talk about it. Yes, it says be wise to talk about it. What about your situation? You have to seek support. You have to talk about it with your family and friends. 
to turn around those hurting feelings. We must be brave enough to consider our own feelings and face the facts. Nothing will stay forever. You cannot be hurt forever. Hurting moments comes and goes and it will pass by. Therefore, be wise enough to give time to yourself, pray, meditate, take it to the Lord in prayer, and of course, have time to yourself. Remember always, Time is a great healer for ourselves when it comes to our feelings and emotion. Each and every one of us need time to heal our feelings. Consider that. Don't keep on complaining about yourself that you did wrong. No, nothing is wrong when we are hurting. We have just to face this kind of situation and move forward. Moving forward, taking actions about our feelings is a must here if we are going to turn around our feelings when we are hurting. It's not easy. You know that you can make it, but you must always give time to yourself. This is Shundel. Thank you for listening. Thank you for dropping here in my channel. I am very grateful to each and every one of you supporting me here in my life journey. I love you all and bye-bye. Like we feel the same, we love what we have.